471st contact. 16th of September 2008, 2.16 p.m. Billy says, but if I may ask a question regarding your languages, what is happening when you have to translate my works into them? Patha says, our main language leads back to the old Arn language, from which on earth the old German languages have come forth, and from which the German in use today developed, through which everything can be expressed just as precisely as in our language. We can, therefore, translate your works precisely into our languages. Billy says, Aha, that's one thing I wanted to know for a long time. But now something other and, therefore, a question, during the 424th official conversation of June 17, 2006, you told me that the men in black, those who wanted me to separate from my blue sequels to kill, had been captured at last. You said the following, since their last evil actions against you, the Syrian men in black have been seized by forces from their home world and have been taken prisoner. And also during the 452nd official conversation of July 7, 2007, this was mentioned. Now I have been asked about how this came about. Can you give me details? Patha says, I can explain the following. Through our information about a technical innovation that we had received from the Sonnens, the Syrian scientists were able to register the men in black's start, flight and destination coordinates which had been encrypted to such a degree that they could not be decrypted for a very long time. After having obtained the destination coordinates, it was detected that they lead to the planet Mars in the SOL system. Consequently, in the year 2006, Syrian security forces were mobilized who are in possession of space technology that makes it possible to switch between space and time configurations. Those forces secretly started with the aim to catch the men in black on planet Mars. On the planet they found very ancient and functioning stations of former occupants slash inhabitants, which were used by the men in black. From those bases they planned the assassination attempts on you and also pursued other evil machinations on Earth towards groups of Earth humans. The men in black were taken prisoner and all stations were totally eliminated, just as it was the case with all monuments and other things that were erected by the former inhabitants of the planet. Billy says, Does this mean that now no human-built artifacts can be found on Mars? Why did they do this? Patha says, that's the meaning of my words, because all of such artifacts had been removed. Therefore, only natural artifacts can be found now that were created by nature, as I had once remarked to you during a private talk. You then did not ask why only naturally created artifacts can be found on Mars, though. I don't attribute this to your inattentiveness but to your bad health situation at that time when I told you this. And regarding the total elimination of everything by the Syrian forces that lead back to the former inhabitants, the reason for this was that it is a Syrian law that everything has to be totally eliminated wherever criminal actions have occurred. This applies to human acquisitions of all kinds on certain locations, as well as on entire planets. If such are not inhabited by a human population, which was also the case with Mars. Billy says, Maybe you have told me everything, but I only remember that you told me that only natural artifacts can still be found on Mars. Somehow there's a hole in my memory, because I may not remember that we had spoken about that what you have said regarding the finding of the men in black on Mars and the removal of all human artifacts. But since we are talking about Mars, the red planet, the red meteor comes to my mind, of which it is written in a prophecy. I don't know it exactly anymore, but Quetzal told me that it will enter into Earth's orbit even if the prophecy regarding the Earth humans' evil machinations and wars would not be fulfilled, because the appearance of the meteor is not a prophecy, but a prediction and, therefore, a cosmic event if I remember correctly.
He said that the great danger by the meteor would threaten Earth on the 13th April 2029, while at the same time he also named it 8 for the year 2036. Patha says, You are wrong I have not spoken about the Syrians eliminating all human artifacts on Mars, because what I've just told you I told you never before. Obviously you had an intuitive grasp of everything. And what to say about Quetzal's prediction regarding the meteor I can only confirm his information. Billy says, misunderstanding regarding Mars. Excuse me, but regarding the elimination of human achievements slash acquisitions, this in part is also the case here on Earth. Many things are destroyed and eliminated at certain locations if they are connected to criminal acts. I only find it strange that all of those things have been eliminated on Mars that did not belong to the criminal Syrians, but to the former inhabitants. But law may be simply law other humanities and planets, other laws, etc. And regarding the red meteor I just wanted to be sure. Patha says, the eliminations on Mars are as they are, and it cannot be made and done, even if it may seem strange to outsiders. Billy says, how right you are that's why one should not search for a deeper meaning. Note, this is part two of the contact. This part is an official and authorized translation. Continued discussion about Merdin Merlin, Caridwina, and King Arthur from Contact Report 469. Billy says, It's a misunderstanding. I'm sorry. But then, there's something else, with regard to the 469th Contact Report on August 11, 2008. Some questions were asked, especially about Carolina, the sister of your grandfather Ezekiel. Why was she chosen for the task of perving Henoch's teachings to Merlin? Was she an Ishrish, and why did she provide a race or known as Excalibur, or Kaladvich, to Merlin, which he then gave to his pupil King Arthur who used it to carry out bloody battles? And what role did Merlin play in the murder of King Gorlw of Tintangle? Patha says, Caridwina was not an Ishrik? but an instructor or teacher in certain matters, and also a teacher of Enoch's teaching. This teaching activity was decisive that she was selected for the task of educating Merlin about Enoch's teaching. Merlin was unaware that Caridwena was not a woman from this earth but rather a female Pliaran. She fell in love with Merlin and fulfilled several of his wishes because he realized on several occasions that she had skills far beyond anything he could explain as a druid. Such a wish was also behind the making of Excalibur. Caridwena was strongly taken with Merlin because he did much good for the people and was very wise. Caridwena also told him many things about the future that she had already explored through Vorau's Shawangan. Merlin used them, and he attributed them to himself and called them prophecies. Unfortunately, Merlin was often fickle slash vacillating, which is why he did things that were directed against the good, making Caridwena very saddened and even angry. Consequently, she ultimately ended her secret relationship with Merlin, of which really no one knew anything. When Caridwena could get a hold of the ray sword again after King Arthur's death, she destroyed it and then returned to Lara. Billy says, and King Gorlwi's death, what was Merlin's role there? Patha says, the assassination was not his idea. The kidnappers killed the king of their own accord because he threatened them with a death penalty and made a stand against them. The End